Hi, it's Mark with Ableton Daily. Creating experimental ambient sounds and music using the vocoder plugin inside Ableton Live. Here's the original source sound. Let's go ahead and try a different clip. Most of us are familiar with how the vocoder was used traditionally, where you would have a microphone plugged into one input of the vocoder, and then you would have a carrier input such as a keyboard or synthesizer, and then someone would sing or speak into the microphone and that would translate and match the same frequency and tone as the chords being played on the synthesizer, creating a harmonized robot sounding voice and it was very popular in the 80s. But the vocoder plugin in Live can do so much more. Did you know that the vocoder has a built-in graphical EQ that goes from four bands all the way to 40 bands? There's also a built-in gate that controls the threshold for the filter bank. The BW is bandwidth control for the filter bank. And then an overall level control with a frequency range control, the frequency range of the filter bank. So we can really do some interesting things with a vocoder. Let's go ahead and try a different source sound. Let's go ahead and try this one and see what this sounds like. I'll go ahead and change the band down to 12. And you can see that we have some frequencies that are louder than others. Well, those I can just go in and change the EQ and EQ and lower the volumes of those frequencies. Enhancing the volume of other frequencies. We can even narrow the EQ even more. Let's take it down to four bands. Okay, let's listen to the original source sound. Now obviously I do have a delay and a reverb being sent to this channel via my send and return settings inside live. And we can create interesting sounds that we wouldn't have thought of otherwise using the vocoder. The gate right here controls the threshold for the filter bank. The first sounds that we hear coming through to the vocoder when we lower the gate, those sounds have the highest levels in the audio clip. Let me go ahead and show you. And I will slowly lower the gate and we can start to hear these sounds coming through. With the EQ, I can increase or decrease these frequencies that I hear in the sound.
And when we increase the band of the graphical EQ, we will get some other interesting sounds. If you would like to change the pitch of these sounds and the frequency, then you can adjust the format knob here. For further experimentation, you can also adjust the attack and the release. Now I'm lowering the gate once more to let in more frequencies. Let's try a different audio clip. Like this voice. The first thing you'll need to do is insert the vocoder plugin into the channel that has the audio inside the audio effects folder inside the live devices. Here you will find vocoder at the very bottom. The next thing you'll need to do is change the carrier to external. After that, where it says audio from, change this to the same channel that the vocoder plugin is inserted to. In this case, it would be Audio 1, since Audio 1 is the same channel where you'll find the vocoder. By having the dry and wet to 100% wet, with a very short attack and a very short release, and by turning up the gate, and then lowering the gate slowly until we hear the desired sound that we're looking for. If the level is too low, we can increase the overall volume of the vocoder. So there are some ways we can create some interesting experimental ambient sounds and music using the vocoder plugin. My name's Mark. This is Ableton Daily. If you like the videos, please subscribe and send me a comment and I'll get back to you. Until then, adios. Thank you.